Can you recognize these baby birds? With those soft white feathers, will they grow up to be swans? Hmm. Check out their funny long legs. Maybe they're ostriches. Or how about flamingos? So what do you think? Are they ostriches, swans, or flamingos? If you guess flamingos, you're right! Flamingos! The Caribbean islands are home to lots of different creatures in really cool habitats. From the clear blue waters to their white sandy beaches. But it's on the salt pans you'll find that bird we're looking for. Oh yes, there they are. Flamingos. Check out that landing. <laughs> That's a big flock. They're really social birds, and you can find them in groups of just a few birds to groups of hundreds. Hear that honking sound? They sound kind of like geese. That's the flamingos talking to each other. It's like a greeting and helps them recognize each other. Now, flamingos are wading birds. Wading birds live in and around bodies of water, and that's where they find the majority of their food. A main characteristic of a wading bird are those long legs. It's those stilt-like legs that allow these birds to hunt in deep water. Other wading birds, like this great blue heron, use their long legs, too, to get into some pretty deep water, and then snatch their prey using those sharp beaks. But the flamingo has a different style of hunting. Flamingos use those amazing curved beaks to feed. He reaches down with his long neck and puts his head and bill in the water, swishing it back and forth, back and forth. As he pumps water through his bill, he filters out tiny little brine shrimp and ends up with a mouthful of food. But the most recognizable feature of the flamingo has got to be those bright pink feathers. The brine shrimp, fly larvae, and other things that a flamingo eats give the flamingo that bright pink color. Brine shrimp contain a pigment called carotenoids. Oh yeah, there are over 600 types of carotenoids. It's the same thing that gives fruit and vegetables, like carrots, their bright colors. So if you're a flamingo and you don't eat brine shrimp or algae, that bright pink would disappear. Hey, flamingos on the move. <laughs> it seems like they'd be awkward flyers with those long legs and long necks, but they're actually pretty graceful pink pilots. Now, back to those funny looking babies. These are lesser flamingo chicks. Only about five weeks old and no pink. They're too young to feed on shrimp and algae right now, so they rely on their mother's crop milk until they're old enough to feed on their own. They'll get pinker and pinker as they grow up with each new set of feathers that comes in until they're fully pink as adults. And check out his beak. See, it's still really straight. They're born with straight beaks, and it takes some time to get that perfectly classic hooked flamingo beak. Now you might have noticed, these flamingo chicks are walking around and feeling around with those beaks a lot. They'll be feeding for brine shrimp in no time. Yeah, they're growing fast. Little pet. Yep, this is a flamingo egg. Now check it out. So you just hatched out of this not too long ago, huh? You can really see how five weeks makes a big difference. Flamingos are known to be graceful birds. But flamingo chicks are a little gangly and uncoordinated. I mean, if you have legs that long, you can understand, it takes a while to get coordinated. <laughs> no offense. Come on, guys, let's go. This way. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> That's right, come on. Come on, buddy, catch up. <laughs> this way, guys. <laughs> come here, buddy, come here. Oh yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> 